Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. I am Manhar and welcome back to MS Safety webcast. In today's video, we are going to learn the steps on how to create a new user account in Microsoft Entra ID. In Microsoft Entra ID, a user account is a unique identity that represents an individual who has been issued a digital identity by an organization. The user account is used to authenticate the user's identity and grant them access to resources, applications and services within the organization. A user account is created when an individual is enrolled in the system and is assigned a unique username and password. As we know, Microsoft Entra ID provides a centralized way to manage these user accounts, handle authentication and enforce security policies across an organization. It integrates with various Microsoft services and can also be extended to support third-party application and services. Let's see the steps to create a new user account in Microsoft Entra ID. For that, we need to access and log in to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. You can access the Microsoft Entra Admin Center using the URL entra.microsoft.com. For this video, we have used the Global Administrator account to access the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. On home page, expand Identity section and click on Overview. On Overview page, we can see the basic information about our tenant. We are using Microsoft Entra ID free subscription. We are using the user account with Global Administrator role to create a new user account. You can manually add new users through the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. This is the easiest way to add a small set of users. Expand Users and click on All Users. We can find the list of existing users here. Click on New User Plus icon. We will have two options here. We can either create a new user account or invite an external user. We will go with the default selection, create new user. This wizard will help us to create new user account in Microsoft Entra ID. User principal name is the login name which user enters to sign in to Microsoft Entra. Enter a unique user name for this user account. Whatever name you will provide it will check and let you know if the username is available or not. Now select a domain name from the menu after the add symbol. msftwebcast.in is the primary domain name in this Microsoft Entra ID tenant and that's why it is selected by default. It's up to you that which kind of user principal name you want to select. You can select david.w at msftwebcast.in or you can select david.w at msftwebcastlab24.onmicrosoft.com. So in our example, I have selected the user principal name david.w at msftwebcast.in. In the last video, we added a custom domain name msftwebcast.in in our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. We have also completed the verification process and made the msftwebcast.in domain name as a primary domain name in our Microsoft Entra ID tenant. This is the reason why msftwebcast.in is selected by default. Next, you have to select mail nickname. By default, user principal name is also set as mail nickname. If you need to enter an email nickname that is different from the user principal name you entered, you have to uncheck the derive from user principal name option and then enter the mail nickname. In our case, I want to use user principal name as mail nickname, so I'm going to select this checkbox. Next, we have to enter the user's name. In this example, I'm entering display name David Warner. Next, we have the option related to password. By default, auto-generated password option is selected to generate a random password for this user account. In this example, I'm going to uncheck auto-generate password option to enter a different password. Now provide a password for the user to use during their initial sign-in. Account enable option is checked by default. Uncheck to prevent the new user from being able to sign in. We can change the settings after the user is created. Earlier, the setting was called block sign-in. Select next properties button. We are on now properties page. There are total five categories of user properties we can provide. 
Remember, these properties can be added or updated after the user is created. In this example, let's enter user's first name and last name. Set the user type as either member or guest. By default, member is selected. And I want to keep it to member. Next, we have the job information section. Add user's job related information here, such as user's job title, department, or manager. In contact information category, you can add any relevant information for the user, for example, city and country. Next, later on, we have the options related to parental control. For organizations like K 12 school districts, the user's age group may need to be provided. The combination of age group and consent provided by parent options determine the legal age group classification. The legal age group classification may limit the user's access and authority in Microsoft Entra ID. We are not going to select anything at the moment. Keep it to default selection. Under settings, specify the user's global location. In this example, I am going to select Australia. Select the next assignments button. We can assign the user to an administrative unit, group, a Microsoft Entra role when the account is created. Remember, we can assign the user to up to 20 groups or roles. At a time, we can only assign the user to one administrative unit. Keep in mind that assignments can be also added after the user is created. Since we haven't created any groups or administrative units, we will configure these settings later on. Select the Review plus Create button. Review the details and select the Create button if everything looks good. Select Create to create this user account with the given details. We get the confirmation message, the user account is created successfully. Click on Refresh button. We can confirm that the new user account with the display name David Warner has been created successfully. If you want to modify the user account settings of an existing user, click on user account. From the top menu, we can click on edit properties or at the bottom menu, we can also click on edit properties under quick action menus to open user account properties. Let's click on edit properties. From here, we can edit settings related to the user account. For example, identity, job information, contact information, parental control, settings and last we have on-premises option. This option is not available right now. We have total six tabs on user account properties. All the user account properties information will be available under all tab. So as you have seen, the process to add a new user account in Microsoft Entra ID is very simple and straightforward. That's it for today's video on how to create user account in Microsoft Entra ID. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification on any of the steps, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.